Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or whatever. I decided to give you guys a little short tutorial on how I could install a bob unit. Um, but because this hair came in a wavy texture, well, in a slight body wave or whatever the case may be, but because it came in a wavy texture and not just a bone straight texture, we are straightening out the hair so we can get a nice, clean, even cut. I mean, if you have wavy hair, curly hair, or any kind of hair that has some type of pattern or texture, you probably want to straighten it. That's probably your best bet. Um, it just will save you time on having to go fix it if you decide to ever straighten any type of texture hair that you may want to turn into a bob. So that's what we're doing in this clip, as you can clearly see. And yeah, she getting all silky and shiny. We're done. You know, now we're ready to slay this cut. So when I cut my bob, I section off a portion in the back as if I'm cutting a bang. This is going to be our starting point. This is our guideline for success in cutting this bob. Um, basically because it's the shortest point in the bob, it's always safe to cut first. And I do go a little bit longer than I would actually like it to be because we're going to come in and work our magic with those clippers like this is the only time that i will be using scissors in the style well in the cutting of this bob um i absolutely love how clippers just clean everything up and you can even achieve layers with clippers and i'm going to be showing you on how i clean it up as you can see i'm just doing a rough draft i'm just trying to get my guideline out you know get my bob you know i kind of what I want to say, just giving my bob an outline, basically, that's what we doing, okay? Just so we can, you know, cut this thing up and make this thing look cute. Okay, so now we are going in with the clippers. And when you first start going in with your clippers, what you're trying, your first step is to even everything out. Basically, that's what we're going to start off doing. You will notice that I will start to slightly raise my clippers towards the edges. And what I'm going to do is curve off the edges of the bob with those clippers now this kind of takes a steady hand but if i can do it y'all can do it my nerves are bad and the way my anxiety and nerves and whatever just sit up if i can do it y'all can do it it seems intimidating but you're just taking the clippers and kind of raising them over the edges of that bob taking that bluntness away and kind of curving the bob that's what we're doing we're curving it and adding layers to the bob at the same time and you will gradually start to do that you know, and you'll get more comfortable with it, but you're just grazing it. Remember that. Don't try to go in with it. And this is also a trick I like to do. I like to lean the bob back after I have started already putting low layers in it. And what I'll do is I'll take that comb and I'll comb it back. Um, and what that does is it knocks out, it, it knocks all the hairs loose that are uneven. It shows you how uneven your bob is and it allows you to see the point to where you need to clean it up basically and that is what you're seeing me do i hope you guys are understanding this you know i am more a visual learner so me trying to explain this is a little difficult but as you can see see it has nice layering and it's even and it does not look choppy like if you were to use shears or whatever the case may be but you can also razor cut i mean razor comb this after you have your perfect guidelines of how you want your bob to be with the clippers if this intimidates you going in with a razor will also help okay so i just wanted to come in don't get too close up on the face girl. but i just want to come in and let you guys see how it look cut and so you can see the layering and stuff in the back so i'm going to turn around as you can see that's just with the clippers so yeah That's why I like cutting bobs with the clippers. So yeah, we're now we're going to start pressing this thing out, putting some style, some heat to it, put a little bump in it, and yeah. So if you're interested, keep on watching. All right, now y'all, let's add some life to this thing. Let's add a bend, a, a bump, or something. You know what I'm saying? Just to get it going. Uh, those are cheap flat irons. They were a 
part of a free gift with a mini. You know, they always want to throw free on the winning. Actually, you paying for it. <laughs> but yeah, that's what they are. I had got them from Target. So if you are wondering what I'm using, they are the Chi Mini. That's what I'm using on the hair. But yes, um, y'all have seen people being hair before, so it ain't no need to explain how I'm really doing it. Well, I will tell you this. I do tilt the flat arms at the root, and I kind of hold them at that tilt all the way to the end. But be careful when styling a bob. I don't know if you guys know, but it is very easy to make a bob look like an old lady do. So do be careful when you are bumping your bob um because that are one of those are one of the things that are one of the problems you can easily come across um i had to go back in and straighten the front parts because they didn't look like they had too much bend but when i put it on it was like whoop, nope had to but as you can see girl that layering from them clippers is life like it really is i mean it's just so perfect and just meshed so well together so yes guys Continue. I'm gonna show you a short clip of me with the wig on so you can see how it looks. As you can see, this is the finished cut. This is it. My cap is underneath is black, so that's why you can't really see the part, but it's there. Um as you can see. Plenty of movement. This is the cut and the style, and this is how I do my dogs. This is it. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Also, don't forget to comment, rate this video, and subscribe. It really helps me out if you like it, honey. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one.